changes to a San Francisco intersection where a crash killed a mother, a father, and their young child. What a story. It happened when an SUV drove onto the curb, smashed right into the bus stop where the family was waiting. KTBU's Ali Rasmus is with us now with the debate about public safety that's become really fierce right now. Good morning, Ali. Yes, good morning, Dave and Pam. A tragedy all around that a lot of neighbors in the West Portal neighborhood have been talking about and reaching out to city leaders calling for changes uh, to the speed and to the layout of the intersection here. This is the bus stop behind me where this all happened. You can see it is now a crime scene investigation, also a memorial. Uh, take note of the stroller in which people have placed flowers, uh, candles, stuffed animals, and at the foot of that stroller are three pairs of shoes, uh, including the shoes of a young child. They are meant to represent the three people who died. According to the safety advocacy group Walk SF, it was a father and toddler who were killed instantly when the SUV struck them. A mother and baby were seriously injured, and over the weekend we learned that the mother died from her injuries at the hospital. The baby is still in critical condition. The driver of the SUV was hospitalized as well, and investigators aren't sure yet what caused this vehicle to hop the curb and crash into the people waiting at this bus stop. Police say speed was definitely a factor, but investigators don't know if the driver was under the influence or if that driver may have had a medical emergency. I was just right around the corner when it happened, heard a horn go, and then uh, an almighty crash. I mean, everybody in the neighborhood was out because it was so loud. I think it's brutal, just brutal. Very unusual for this area. Safety advocates like the group Walk SF and now city leaders are talking about ways to make this area safer. In a statement this weekend, Supervisor Myrna Melgar, which represents this district, said, quote, my office, along with SFMTA, Public Works and neighbors, have already been in discussions to improve safety conditions for pedestrians and riders around the West Portal Station. The trauma and impact of this incident are immeasurable, end quote. Now, San Francisco police put out a statement over the weekend saying that they don't believe the layout of this intersection. Uh, West Portal had anything to do with the crash. They don't think traffic engineering, as they said, was a factor. However, Walk SF says that they would like SFMTA to step up its efforts to add speed cameras, not just here, but throughout the city, as a way to make things safer. And that group is planning to have a vigil at this site tonight at 5 o'clock to honor the victims of this crash. Live in San Francisco, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.